In this video, we will learn how to write the Hello World program in Eclipse. Eclipse is an integrated development environment that helps in Java software development. Eclipse uses a base workspace. A workspace is a file or directory that allows a user to gather various source code files and resources to enable working with them as a cohesive unit. When we install Eclipse, it creates a default workspace under the user directory. We will use this workspace to write our programs. Now, let's open Eclipse. It prompts for the workspace. I will select the workspace. In Eclipse, any program should be created inside a project. So let's create a Java project. Click on File, New and select Java Project. Type a name for your project and click Finish. This creates a Java project which can be seen on the Package Explorer. The Package Explorer will show all the projects existing in the workspace. Eclipse assigns some default properties to the project. It is useful to understand these properties. Right-click, select Properties, click on the Java Build Path. Java Build Path is the path or directories from where a Java project discovers dependent classes while building the project. Building a project means creating a deliverable for the project. In the simplest case, building means compiling the source files into class files. Coming back to the Java build path, this has four tabs. The source tab shows that SRC is the folder where all the source files will be kept. Projects are any other projects that this project requires. We do not need this at the moment. Libraries are any libraries that the project needs. By default, it has included the JRE system library 1.8 version. When we expand it, we can see so many JAR files. These JARs or Java archives contain the Java built-in classes. We can also include other libraries or JARs by clicking on the buttons on the right. Let's press OK and go back to our project. We can see the SRC folder inside the project name. The project name is also called the root of the project. If you remember, the first thing we need to do is to create a Java source file with the same name as the class. But before that, let's create a package. A package is used for better organization of classes. It is a good practice to create package before creating any classes. Right-click on SRC, select New, Package, enter a name for the package. Let's name it as com.learnobytes.first. Click Finish. That's the package under SRC. Again, right-click, select New. There is no option to create a source file. In Eclipse, we create a source file by selecting class. The name will be the class name hello without .java and without dial. You can see the package declaration at the top. It is a good practice to write something about the class. Slash, star, star, and enter will provide a format for documenting the class details. Now we can define the main method, public static void main string arguments. Write a statement for printing hello world. Eclipse provides a very strong code autocomplete feature, which saves us from a lot of typing. Just type sys out and press control space. We get the system.out.println. Type the string that needs to be printed. Don't forget the double quotes for text. Press Ctrl plus S to save the file. Compiling and running are very easy. If you go to the project menu, you will see build automatically is selected. This means that the class file is automatically generated each time we change something in the source file. If there is a syntax error, it will point out right away. For running, we just need to press the green button on the top. The output is shown on a console window. Thus, we successfully wrote our first Java program in Eclipse. In this video, we learned how to create a Java project in Eclipse, what are project properties, how to create a package, and finally, a source file containing a class.